Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play in New Queen, Wrath of the White Witch. So, uh, first off... Let's go back to Castaway Cove. Cause we can. Or can we? You can't vertical sandwich! Oh, I, th I thought I was going I was, I was pretty sure I could. I just didn't know for sure, for sure. Okay. I gotta remember what all the buttons are here. Alright, we got it. We're good. Okay, it's this jerk. Oh, hello again, sir. So you made it back to the Summerlands, huh? I most certainly did it. I had great to visit Dick Dog Dad once more before calling time on this journey of mine. Back with the old nostalgia, what? Oh, yeah. So did you find any interesting stuff to write about since we last saw you? Well, I'm jolly glad you asked, old boy. There was one rather hairy moment when my ship got caught in the most frightfully nasty storm. When we finally made land, I do declare I thought I'd discovered a new continent. You can imagine my excitement, I'm sure. Strange plants, mysterious statues, and the queerest illustrations all over the ground. Whether well, the mere thought of it sets the old heart beating. It's all documented in my diary, of course. I don't suppose you care to... Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. No pauses for guessing what's coming next. I've lost it. I've lost the belly thing. My diary, it's gone. Well, well, man, who to flip it off? I must have left a confounded thing on that island. I am. Now, I don't suppose you can help a chap go and fetch it for me, would you? You are no jolly good show. I wouldn't want to have to rely on this dicky mummery of memory of mine when the time comes to write the old memoirs. So where exactly did you leave it? On some island, right? Statues and drawings on the ground. Is it? Oh, statues and drawings on the ground, is it? Wait. Hmm, okay, I can I think of a couple of places. Don't suppose you remember anything else, do you? Hmm, no, I do recall making a dollar entry while sitting on a small statue giving the old back a break, you know. And it all comes floating back. Yes, there was a picture of the most enormous skull on the ground nearby. Rather ghastly, if you ask me. A picture of a skull, huh? Okay, we'll go find it for you. All right. Well, we, we will. We clearly already know where it is. Uh, we can also uh, hit a bounty in the way. Of So, we'll get out of here. Oh, I actually believe... Yeah, I can just try- I can travel there. Ars Memore. So, there's our bounty. Wait a minute. Radiant Blade, to appear, Easting, Blister Blade, Lightning Bolt. Hmm. Doric Column. Come on, you guys. Here goes. Okay. It's my turn. He is weak to snort to storm magic. So yeah. No, it's not so great. Step aside. What does he have? Ready? 
also smash hit. Nice. Not what I was looking for in particular. Thunderbolt it is. There we go. Even Star seems like a much. He's really not very smart. It's kind of making this easy. Oh, he hit me. There we go. We did it. The dork column has been defeated. All right, so before we get into any kind of trouble with anything else, and we're pretty fine with... Let's... Keep doing the wrong spell here. Let's cast it. So drawings of skulls in the ground. Hey look, it's that gentleman's diary. Dodgy old daughtery old cutter must have had a nap here, left it behind I nugget. Well he does seem kind of forgetful. Anyway, we should take it back to him. Alright, great. Now, uh, there's something else in here that you wouldn't normally uh, pick up on. So, up in the woods here, there's actually a random encounter. Not a random encounter, but uh, an encounter. Right there. And this is the only place you'll hit this guy in the game, but you'll always hit him. Fuddy what Daddy. This? The reason I bring this up is because Fuddy Daddy um, drops an item called the um, All Seeing Eye. And it's going to be important. This will be the best place to grind for it. But also, you're gonna need to find him to fill up your deal. He's not particularly a great. He's not particularly a great familiar to to try to get on your team. Is that it? Nobody's gonna argue that. However, you can't hit him anywhere. We can get anything from him that time. So, stupid wrong button. Uh, Alma Moon. We're going to Alma Moon because uh, we have the curry stall guy here. We have a couple more bounties as well. Now, uh, you will you will notice there are no more broken hearts. That is clearly by design. Shadar is dead. So. We'll turn in our bounty. See what we get. I'm sure it'll be money and an item. Cat King's Claws! It's pretty nice.
All right, what are we gonna end up getting? We could, I mean, we could end up getting uh, recovered health through walking. I'd rather get uh, this one right here. Okay, notes from the fog we've already got. Okay, so we've only got the three, the three bounties to do. One of them's in Hamlin, one of them's here. And then one of them was that Notes from the Fog one. So let's go talk to the curry stall guy. Because his is just ridiculous. His is literally just to travel to people, give them curry, come back to him five times. But we have to, I, I think we talked about this last video, we have to go to the person, give them the cure, curry, come back to him, get more curry. It's ridiculous. Okay. Oof, so much still to do, I must hurry. You sure look busy today. I am indeed. My Tikka Mahala has proven so popular that I have almost more orders than I can meet. And since I began offering a delivery service, they have been pouring in from across the land. I can't say I'm surprised, Bond. Curry is almost scarily tasty. Probably amazing it is. How do you keep it warm if you're delivering it to faraway places? Hey, don't need to keep it warm, Mon. I bet it's just as good cold as it is popping hot. Aha, thank you. Your faith in my ability inspires me to work harder. I do not regret my curry's popularity, but it means that I no longer have the time to carry out deliveries myself. Perhaps if you have time, you might consider helping me. I have orders from all over the land that I cannot hope to deliver myself. Yes. Thank you once again. You are truly my savior. Very well, the first delivery is to the Sheik of Spice here in Almamun. Please, it must be delivered to him with haste. No worries, Mon. Leave it to all his delivery service. So this is tedious. But at least the Sheik of Spice one is very easy. It's very quick. You can just give him his curry. Special delivery. One Tika Mahala. For Mr. Sheik. Another moment too soon. I'd almost give it up hope. Lately, this most delightful curry is all I could bring myself to eat. All those pales in comparison. You eat it every day? But of course, it is the finest of all foods. I will never tire of it. It is made with my very own special blend of spices, after all. How could it... Not be the pinnacle of culinary excellence. You too played your part in its creation, of course. And now it's delivery also. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Mr. Sheik, sir. Thank you for choosing the Raj Mahal. The Raj Mahal. Thank you for choosing the Raj Mahal. That is, uh, that is one of those references that you would throw into something you do. And if somebody got it, you would know that you really need to get to know that person. Just like when I say things about the eyes of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg and people who get it, I'm just like, oh, yeah. Because, like, so many people for the Great Gatsby, but... Um, welcome back to the delivery went well, I trust. I wish I were able to allow you a moment's rest. But there are still customers waiting, awaiting delivery of delicious curry. Will you oblige me once more? Sure, well, who's next on the list? The next delivery is to the most illustrious person in all of Castaway Cove. Castaway Cove, got it, we'll be right back. Okay, these get weirder and weirder, by the way. I, uh, one of them is to the skeleton, a skeleton in the casino on the tombstone trail. So, with a, a conversation about how he can't eat. <laughs> so this one's clearly to the mayor. And I've accidentally routed in the Returning the Guy's Diary, which is nice, because I hadn't really thought about the fact that we have to actually give the diary back to him. We found your diary, sir. Oh, spiffing! So you made it in my in, onto that singular old oh, no, did you? Rather treacherous, what? Yeah, I guess. Try not to lose your diary, get okay? Indeed not, old me, and the thing's given me enough scares as it is. Now I simply must give you some sort of reward. Ah, here you are. A diva's mantle, 3,000 guilders. Seven merit stamps. Uh... 
Uh, I just completely went the wrong way. Now, uh, whatever. Backtracking is backtracking. Vertical sandwich, that's an obvious thing to say! <laughs> yeah, isn't it, though? Yeah, I should just turn around and went this way. Here you go, sir. One tikka mahala curry. Ah, praise be the, to the agents that has arrived. Ah, what wondrous aromas. My mouth, it waters. The treacherous desert crossing one must make when visiting Al Mamut fills me with the most terrible dread. Its delivery service is truly a blessing. Somebody using magic to deliver things is not very, uh, studio ghibli, by the way. That's good to hear. Ah, but such an achievement as this most memorable of curries must be commended in person. Please inform Raj that I shall be braving the sands to visit him soon. Alright, we'll tell him. Alright, that's two down. I think it's five, I'll total. And like I said, they get a little weirder as you go. The real pain is having to run through the entire town. And this is a hike to just get your next assignment. So hopefully, I mean, if we end up at Hamlin, we could finish that errand as well. The errand in Hamlin doesn't involve us, like, going anywhere. And we still have two more bounties to do. Welcome back. The delivery went well, I trust. So sorry, but I have another order for you to deliver. The next is for someone in the Empire of Hamlin. Oh, cool. Hamlin, jeepers, the orders sure are coming in from far away. Who exactly is it for? Let me see now. Curses, I have been so busy that my notes are in terrible disarray. I cannot find the name, but it is for one who runs a shop that prides itself on selling every item under the sun. Well, that's not very helpful, is it, Mon? I reckon we'll have to be able to deliver it based on that load of garbled old nonsense, do you? You reckon? Well, we'll just have to do our best. I'm assuming it's the black market guy. I mean, our map will tell us anyway. It's not a huge deal. See, look at that. Map told us right away. It just said, yep, it's the black market guy. So, uh, yeah, we have one, uh, errand to do here in Hamlin, and we'll get that taken care of, and then we'll just have the two bounties when we're done with this one. And that'll be nice. No more errands, no more bounties, I think until the end of the game. And I don't mean the end of the game, I mean after the end of the game. There's, like, post-game stuff. Here you go, special delivery, one hot, red hot curry for you, mister. Huh, but you're... Since when did you start working as a delivery? Raj makes the curry was awful busy, so we agreed to help out. Oh, so that explains it. Well, good luck. You're gonna have your work cut out for you. I've heard this curry has fans all over the world. I'm sure we'll be fine. We've been everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. We've explored it. Oh, hey, how'd, how'd that happen? A Trixie Nyx gem. Huh. I would not have guessed that there was a uh, purple chest hanging out there. I don't know how I missed that, actually. So, uh, let's go stay at the cat's crate. No, you know what? We're going to have to go back there anyway. So let's go talk to the the last the last guy. He's a, he's out walking here. Oh, I've slept in again. That makes it 460 to 56 days in a row, yawn. Don't you have an alarm clock, mister? 
I've got more alarm clocks than I know what to do with. The problem is, not one of them seems to do the trick. I've tried big ones, small ones, one with bells, whistles, hammers, but I slept through them all. There's one kind I haven't tried yet, though. An alarm clock which I've heard very good things about. That's what I'm looking for now. What kind of alarm clock is that? It's called a sleep be gone. Listen, you wouldn't help me look for one, would you? All this blasted searching is wearing me out. Yeah. Okay. You will. Why, that's marvelous. Now this whole business has been rather tiring. Good luck. He'll be snowing his head off in a minute, lazy beggar. Yeah, we need to bring him that alarm clock right away, huh? Okay, we have. Uh, I'm sure we have a sleep be gone. Oh, this is it. The alarm clock I've heard so much about. It looks like I've got... It's got a powerful ring to it. Snore. Look, one lazy beggar's nodded off with his eyes wide open. Ugh, wake up, mister. Oh, do excuse me. Sleepy gone my flippin' rear. Oh, for sleepy gone my flippin' rear, what a waste of time. I'm really not sure this is gonna do the trick. I wonder if I could ask you one more favor. What is it? Would you be kind enough to bring me a cappuccino? That would be... Okay. Mm, that's a fine looking cappuccino. Thanks, it's about to put a spring back in my stuff. Please excuse me while I sample it. Uh, so when we come back, he's gonna sample cappuccino. Hi, everybody.